Good morning. <clears throat> um, I'm going to do another swoosh video, but I'm going to do it on a flatter surface. I think the skull is quite a difficult one to show. Um, this is the very beginning of something. I'm not 100% sure where it's going, nor is it probably my favourite at the moment. Um, but it's just to give you this, I've got this flat surface that um, is quite scruffy. But I'm going to just show you how to start your, bringing your um, swishes through, um, hopefully on a flatter surface to make it easier to understand. So I've got, once again I'm using the shuttle art and I'm using a greeny yellow. So same as the skull video, all we need to do is just pick up loads of our paint, work out where we're gonna <coughs> put our next swoosh. I think I'm gonna keep it in line with the green one I've already got. So I'm gonna do my two original base dots. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna load them up slightly just to get enough paint on them so that I can swoosh and move them around. Put that to one side, pick up our dragon tool and just f for your first line just follow the line of depending on how your pattern's going to go the swoosh that's already there so I'm just going to follow this one and I'm going to follow it the other side actually so I'm just going to bring it around So I'm going to work out, I want nice round swooshes at the top. So I'm just going to bring this to join this swoosh I've already got. And then using paint you've got here, because you've got a lot of it. Let's just make it go a little bit further. You know, if you've got to dip the dotting tool in the paint to bring it down a bit further. Um, I always try and clean the end of the dotting tool. So yeah, just take a little bit of paint just to do that last little bit of tail. Same again on this side. Join this dot to make this one and then just continue the, the tail. I'm not sure it's called a tail, but tail seems appropriate. And then just and then we're just going to tidy it up slightly. You know, if you've got bits of paint that are uneven, just take your paint, make sure you've got no bubbles. Yeah. And then move on to the next one. So same again. Put our initial dot. All of these bits get tidied up later. All covered. Quite a lazy dotter. And then, <clears throat> once again, use your tool to just sort of create a following line. So just working out where this swoosh is going to go. And then make it follow that pattern. You know, cocktail sticks work as well. Um, I always find that with the cocktail sticks that eventually they will uh, they become really soft at the ends. And so just obviously every pattern's got a mind of its own at all. Depends on what you want to do with your design. This is just a basic idea on how to elongate your swooshes. Take a little bit of paint from there and just sort of find where you want the tip of your tail to be. That's my dishwasher. Uh, 
And there you've got a couple of swishes where you can continue your pattern. Um, obviously each pattern is different. I'll tidy all this up. And that'll give you that gives you another idea, hopefully on a flatter surface. Um, and just you know, use tool to just sort of flatten out these top bits, tidy up any of the raggedy rough edges. And there you've got swishes.